How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. If they didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make EOS a home. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago, new. Who else is here? Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. These shield masts are protecting against the radiation, but they're wearing out fast. Look at the batch numbers. The outpost burned through a bunch of them. No way this has been here long. Um, going by call sign records, that shuttle is currently parked in the Nexus. Someone's been naughty. suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. Sand storms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. 
but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. Like the console said. Let's head to the relay station. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos' atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Site 1 main building door code is acquired, Pathfinder. Not the important part, Sam. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Harwell FioJ. And get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what he started. I think this is for purifying water. It's huge and crooked. The storms did that? structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. That ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help EOS. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location.
Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. We've got company. Took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? I guess Crazy Blue has to buy our parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right Sam? Correct. Plus I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Let's not forget what else happened on Habitat 7. This is powerful alien tech. We need to respect it. Go slow. For sure. We'll follow your lead. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. So if that structure could make a difference here, well, that would be really good. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. If walls could talk... Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Wait, you can do that? Normally, it would be impossible. But since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Let's give it a shot. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. It works. Can you get audio? Compiling now. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. Not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts. Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. There was something very wrong at the second outpost they made. More wrong than deadly radiation? Whatever it was, 
Site 2 made a special project to handle it. Let's keep it in mind for later. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things? Must be talking about the cat. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain, watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first cat ambush on Site 1. The cat scouted them out. Well, what do you know? The outpost research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Special Requisition All-Terrain Scout Rover. A Nomad. Six-wheel drive. Jump jets. Just what you need. The Initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Deploying forward station. Looks like the Ford Station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Sam, another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead.
radiation levels within acceptable limits. Pathfinder, another deceased colonist. If you get me their name, I'll update the records and tag the body for recovery. Avante, Tegan C. Radiation got to her. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. It's slippery, but there's a great view! Who'd be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there? Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Off, or I will put you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their champ. <sighs> All right, time to get off. 
Don't like being sat on, huh? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. No, that's okay. You're obviously corporeal. Pretty solidly built, actually. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make a little bot! first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as Petey. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Fascinating, huh? Oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too? Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds? <laughs> Do you need to ask? <laughs> a man after my own heart. Follow my nav points, figure out those monoliths, and we can both get some answers. How did you get here? After what happened with the outposts, I didn't expect to run into anyone. I had a ride. I had to fudge the flight plan a little. The Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else. Or let people see how rough it got. Sad. But there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. The bots we're seeing. You had names for them? I had to call them something. The observers fly around spying on anyone who touches this tech. The assembler ones make other remnant. Not sure how yet. Maybe manufacturing or 3D printing? And Breachers smash into anything they don't like, which is us. Easy to remember. Is anyone else camped out on Eos? There's the Ket, Clancy Salvagers, one angry old man. Who do you mean? Let's just say he's here to squish Ket and doesn't care whose gear he tramples. We're hoping this tech can fix the atmosphere and make Eos livable. Think it's possible? Yes. Maybe. Possibly? This tech is so new. I mean, old here, but new to us? Who knows what it can do? How old is it exactly? It's been dormant for centuries, which I guess isn't actually that old. Huh. But long enough for conditions here to get royally screwed up, if they really are connected. 
Is PB a typical Asari name? Never heard it in my Huntress days. Oh, you know things? Good for you. I know other things. It's a name. Good enough and short enough. For now. Well, I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Hey, PB, you came in this shuttle? Not many other ways to get here from the Nexus. Careful, I've got some interesting finds in there. <laughs> 